Theron's Fate is an action roguelike focused on Zelda-style sword combat. Throughout the game's randomly generated dungeons, you'll find greatly varied loot and items. And within the over 200 items in the game, there are tons of swords with unique effects and stat boosts, creating enough variety that it never gets boring to hack and slash your way through baddies. We've gone through all of our favorite swords, from common to super rare, and boiled things down to the top 10. So, without further ado, let's get started with the top 10 swords in Farron's Fate. Number 10. The Blade of Distortion. Though it's not the most powerful weapon in the game, it's definitely one of the coolest looking and most fun. The Blade of Distortion gives you a chance to teleport enemies away from you when you hit them. This means that you can easily charge into a crowd of monsters and safely disperse them by teleporting some of them away. However, it can backfire at times and teleport enemies to a position where you don't want them to be. Number 9. Charm Hammer The Charm Hammer is both interesting and useful. Basically, every time you hit an enemy, you have about a 1 in 5 chance to charm them. If you've played the game, you'll probably know that charming enemies make them go aggro on each other, and actually damage each other on contact and with bullets. Be careful though, just because the monsters aren't targeting you doesn't mean that you're immune to their attacks, so make sure you don't jump into their line of fire. Number 8. Lightning Blade The Lightning Blade is awesome. Sure, it doesn't pack the same punch as some of the higher entries on our list, but goddamn it's fun! When using the Lightning Blade, you have a chance to chain an electric shock to a nearby enemy, meaning that monsters can get hit by the collateral damage from across the room. Even better, the Lightning deals damage based on your magic damage stat, so mage builds will have an easy time dealing massive collateral damage to monsters. Number 7. Haunted Blade A lot of people ignore the Haunted Blade because they get it in the early game and don't want to take the risk. You see, the Haunted Blade makes your critical hits way more powerful adding an extra 200% to your crit damage multiplier. Assuming you don't even have any other crit boosting items, this means quadruple damage on crit. However, the caveat is that you actually take one damage when you perform one of these super crits. In the early game, this can be really cost prohibitive, but in the late game, if you have enough health regen items, the quad damage can be incredibly powerful and definitely worth it. Number 6. The Mythic Sword The Mythic Sword is more interesting than it is powerful. Every time you find it, the Mythic Sword has completely random effects. It can modify damage, magic, knockback, speed, and more. One thing to note about it is that it always has one upside and one downside. This means that the weapon is never useless, but it isn't really reliable enough to rank higher on this list. That's all I've got time for today, but stay tuned for part 2, where I'll go over the next top 5 swords in Farron's Fate. Be sure to leave a comment and a like, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.